Hello, welcome back to Leith Central. A very different Leith Central. I've recently been suffering from modeler's block and also the frustration of trying to fit uh, what was a model designed for a bigger room into this room. So I have bitten the bullet and dismantled what of Leith Central I had built so far and salvaged what parts I wanted, including the parts I was very proud of, including the overhead signal box, the buffer end which needs a bit of maintenance work after being removed from its incarceration in the platform end and of course the impersonation of Waverley Bridge. They have been saved as, have, as has most of the track and the back scenes and three of the boards are going to be reused. So we'll take a look at Lee Central coming apart in pieces and some of the highlights of the old model and I'll then explain to you what I'm planning to do on the new model.
from the destruction, from the ashes you might say, will rise something new. So what I'll do is I'll have a quick sketch out on this piece of board here of uh, what I'm planning to do. Which uh, does look better if it collects. Uh, so the bottom here would be where the wall is, the top here is where I'm sitting. So where the camera is to the left as I'm looking at it will be the fill yard which will be a three or four row fill yard I haven't quite decided yet. Then also on that board in front of it as acting like the scenic break for the fill yard will be a representation of the Huntleston Rapid Loader. The reason I've decided to model some sort of version of this is the new um, Acura scale hoppers and also the HAAs that have been announced by uh, Cadillacs and hinted at by Acura scale. Uh, now I can get decent rates of those wagons and also with the the forthcoming Acura scale 37s that uh, would suit their workings I've decided to bite the bullet and go for that. Then there'll be a head shunt here because the idea is to split rakes to load them to create shunt interest. There'll then be a small distribution depot at the front similar to our Hunterston that was the nuclear flask loading facility. Uh, fire feeding into this will be it'll be a single line lead into a, either two or three platform station. I'm going to have a look at how much space I've got here because the idea of putting the platform at the diagonal is to maximise the length of train that can fit on the line on the layout, as well as leaving in a lot of space here for scenic town work. Like I'll probably put in a bus station at the station to display some of my number of buses that you can see behind me here and also some more towns in here and the idea is that the fiddle yard will be disguised by the rapid loader mostly but I'm aiming to put the bridge, incorporate the bridge somewhere across the layout wherever it'll fit with the track plan and then the signal box will probably mount around here over the bay platform I haven't decided yet whether to make it a double bay platform and just make this an open run round there might be another platform in here but I want to try and limit the amount of track and pop on the board and not make it too complicated because that was an issue with the old lead central is it was cramming too many points in and it just looked cluttered so the idea is to try and make this look a lot uh, you could say cleaner but also allow a lot more space for detailing and you see got this area here and this area here where there's plenty of open space for uh, modelling other things as well as maybe something on top of the fill yard here I haven't decided yet it might be just a case of the rapid loader and trees blocks off this area because I've got the tunnel map I've set a tunnel map from Lead Central to be used there if needs be and the bridge of course across the middle that will act as sort to cover the baseboard join which is formed by this dotted line as it did on Lead Central and how it is as of the old fill yard board from Lead Central will form this is forming this board that's what I'm sitting on now the other two boards around the corner have remained in situ and the original lead central board is being is down here by my legs at the moment which will be fully stripped the idea is that uh, it gives me a lot more space in this room to do my modeling and means I can get projects done and not feel cluttered and constrained and looking at something that could be frustrating me and it means I can separate uh, when I get models block on one area I've got plenty of space to go and work on another area so that's the plans we'll get to that in the next update where we start looking at some proper designs we'll get some pictures together of the things I'm intending to model and uh, we'll get measuring that out on other baseboards in the next update so uh, just a quick update and uh, just to let you know where I am I haven't disappeared I haven't caught the I haven't caught the catastrophic whooping cough uh, we have had some other positive news at Leeds Central and that is uh, we will be we'll be having a mini modeler on the way so um, that's been taking up a bit of my time so the updates may be a little bit more far, more far between them but uh, there will be qual more quality in the updates where I'm not trying to rush to get an update out or um, getting frustrated with an area so it takes longer it's just a case of I'm making sure that each update I put out I'm showing you something that's worth seeing. So um, I hope you enjoyed the other railway, transport and wildlife videos I've been putting up on the channel. But there will be more Leeds Central stuff. Don't worry, Leeds Central has not gone away. And to that point, would you? I'd like to just ask the, uh, the regular viewers, would you like me to keep the name Leeds Central? Would you like me to modify the name to suit what I'm doing? Would you like me to change the name entirely? The idea is to move what is essentially Hunterston Rapid Loader and Lags to the east coast somewhere in the area between Queen's Ferry and uh, Leith Docks 
somewhere around the Silver Nows area. Uh, so names around that sort of ilk might uh, might be of people's interest. So uh, just let me know in the comments what you think I should do with the name for the layout. Uh, remember to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you'll never miss one of the new updates. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.